My friends, I bring good news today. They don't believe a word of it. Those political bigwigs and media titans and titan wannabes who are constantly on the attack against President Obama, accusing him of this, in a tizzy about that, most of them don't believe a word of it, not even a little. Remember how they were all trembly with fear at the mere thought of Barack Obama speaking to the nation's school kids? Indoctrination, they cried, socialist agenda. You didn't hear too much out of them after the speech, did you? It's not because they changed their minds. It's because even they realized how ridiculous they'd sound if they kept criticizing the president for what? Encouraging kids to work hard, stay in school, do their homework, listen to their parents, respect their teachers, for telling kids to take personal responsibility for living up to their potential. Sounds pretty socialistic to me. <laughs> you know, if I thought for even a moment that these guys actually believed the nonsense coming out of their mouths, I'd be worried too. Mostly, I'd be worried for them, trying to survive with such a loose grip on reality. Do I look worried? Of course not, because I know it's just a show. They don't actually believe that the President of the United States is a socialist tool, or a terrorist mole, or a Kenyan, or a commie, or a Nazi. They're saying these things because they think they can get other people to believe them. See, they're desperate to slow this President down, to bring him down. If they can keep him on the defensive, back on his heels, no matter how trivial the issue, that's one for their side. And if it takes fanning the fears of the gullible with myths and distortions, and then using those fears as an excuse to keep spreading the myths and distortions, well, it's all part of the job when you're trying to turn Barack Obama into Barack Pinata. So take heart, my friends. The bigwigs and the titans and the wannabes aren't nearly as clueless, as spineless, as paranoid as they seem to be, it's all an act. Cynical? Manipulative? Intellectually dishonest? That's something else again. See? Don't you feel better?